How's it going guys? With the holidays in line, so comes a flurry of add-ons to the marketplace. While changes keep coming into place towards Microsoft Flight Simulator from different developers, so has been this week. There have been many changes from top developers in terms of updates in their existing products, plans in 2021 and current releases towards the marketplace. But before anything, go ahead and subscribe for future notifications on flight simming, updates, patches, anything interesting in flight simming. This is your place. We'll be featuring four different add-ons from good developers that include Just Sim with the Hamburg Airport, Flight Tampa's Las Vegas McCarran International Airport, the plans for MK Studios to release a dozen airports in the coming weeks, and Brisswicky Designs who have always been keen on improving and enhancing current landmarks as well as city packs. First up in line is a developer, Just Sim, who have been continuing to bring good content towards the simulator. With the recent release of the Hamburg Airport, which is a EDDH in short, this regional airport serves many destinations around the country of Germany as well as throughout Europe. I haven't got a chance to actually see the airport. It's quite vast that allows many planes to taxi freely and also organize themselves for many ground service vehicles. Many airlines are a part of this hub that include Eurowings, EasyJet, Lufthansa that have frequent stops at this airport. The runways are supposedly the longest at 12,000 feet that features numerous parking stands. The EDDH airport comes with custom PBR texturing for all buildings in and around the airport. It has good night lighting which is realistic, jetways that are animated as well as customed and it's available for purchase for $24 at Sim Market. In case if you have prepared 3D, you can always upgrade this bad boy for $12 or if you have Xplain 11, you can upgrade this for $15. The airport looks convincing with details that can look quite good in visuals with PBR textures and if you're from Hamburg, well, this is definitely a good buy. Flight Tampa, a known developer to practice something different but a good addition towards Microsoft Flight Simulator, have released their Las Vegas Airport, which is the KLAS. It's the Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. After the recent developments with Copenhagen, this airport features pretty much all the aspects and details of other platforms. This can make you wonder if it is worth a try and the PBR materials used for this airport along with custom buildings with 3D bridges and trains can certainly be a good addition in this pack and it's sold for $19.99, almost $20. We don't have information about any existing promotions for Prepare 3D customers or Explain users to bag a discount for this item. MK Studios, a developer who's always been looking forward for better ideas in development, have big plans coming for Microsoft as they intend to release a good list of airports that target the region of Europe. Matty Hughes, the CEO of MK Studios, mentioned about plans of 12 airports that are currently in progress. They are planning to release these in the first quarter of 2021, which is definitely not far from today. Airports such as the Ponta Delgada, the LPPD airport, is now work in progress as they are currently working on developing terrain textures, buildings and other surrounding areas of the airport. Along with that, the Future Ventura, which is the GCFV in short, is in the same lines of progress. The Rome Fiumicino, which is the LIRF in short, is currently undergoing modeling phases of the development, which is slated at 80% completion as of now. We should expect the release to happen during the first or probably the second quarter of 2021. Likewise, the Roa Nimi, which is the EFRO, SAP Pedro, the GVSV, Porto Airport, LPPR, EICK, EYPA, Helsinki Airport, Lipsen Airport, and the Wagar Airport are currently in developments. They're almost in the finish line for this, and we should hope to see them pretty much soon on Sim Market or Microsoft Flight Simulator. They're actually being not just developed for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but also Prepare 3D, which can certainly be interesting. 
Next up in line is the Gaia simulations who have been reworking on the existing Vienna International Airport, the LOWW in short. Guys, Gaia simulations, they certainly needs no introduction for a developer like this. They've always been focusing on quality content, making sure that the performance as well as the quality of maps, airports are all pristine. This is definitely a new venture for Gaia Simulations as Microsoft Flight Simulator is a new platform. So coding is definitely not a piece of cake and it would take some time. And based off the new changes towards this already existing development, which is the LOWW Airport, there have been additions of new buildings to make sure that they look as accurate as possible as the current buildings in the airport. There have been more reflections that have been added under ground textures. Custom taxi lines have been added to ensure that they are accurate as possible. They're adding both blue and orange taxi lines. It's quite interesting to see that they're trying to make sure that the taxi signs are accurate as possible and hence applying those effects, including the signs for that matter, which can be much better towards the airport pack. In addition to that, they are working on adding more interiors for the North Pier, as well as jetway wheels, which should function when operated. While all these airports are not 100% in quality, we can find many bugs in between. And with this airport, Gaia Simulations have found a few bugs, which they are currently looking into, debugging and releasing version 1.2. This is sold right now at $20.50. You can find them at Orbix Direct. Guys, you can't go wrong with developers like Gaia Simulations, Orbix Direct, A2A Simulations and many more. These partners have extremely experienced developers with good Good amount of ideas who can use the best practices for coding these airports. Last up in line is the Dresswiki Designs who have released the Chicago Landmarks Pack. Now this is a great pack by the way and based on the latest release it costs you $20 which is available at Orbix Direct or Sim Market. This is quite an interesting pack and it feels that the developers have taken quite a good amount of time to recreate the entire city of Chicago. The most exciting part of this pack is that there are more than 2000 buildings that have been recreated along with landmarks. It's quite a development I would say. The development team have stated that the entire downtown region have been recreated with a good use of PPR materials, custom night lighting, custom mesh that can give an opportunity to the developers to add more integration in the new platform. One of the surprising things in this pack is that you can find almost 17 helipads which have seen drastic improvements even though there are no helicopters in the simulator. Now this is a good move by Dresswiki as they made sure to include all the areas surroundings aspects of Chicago City which has been touched well and improved to give a good feel of the city and especially for locals I certainly hope that they can see a big difference in this pack you can go ahead and grab this pack at Orbix direct store for $20 for more updates suggestions release notes patches anything at all that's related to flight simming please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet Thumbs up this video if you like this video guys, it can certainly make a difference to me. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day guys. Stay tuned and take care.